In this video, we are going to have a look at the third exponential law where a power is raised to a power. In the first two laws, we had more than one base number. But what happens if we have one base number that is raised to two powers? In this case, the outside exponent of 3 is an indication that 2 to the power of 2 is repeated three times. So that would be 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2. And if we now choose to use our first exponential law, we know that the base number stays constant and we can add the three exponents and that will give us 2 to the power of 6. Can you see that the exponent of 6 can also be formed by multiplying the two original exponents. 2 times 3 is 6. And so from here we form the third exponential law. This law states that when we have one base number that is raised to two powers, we can simply multiply those exponents. Example 1. Simplify and leave your answer in exponential form. Here we have 3 to the power of 5 that is raised to the power of 4. And according to our law, we keep our base of 3 and multiply the two exponents. So that means we will have 3 to the power of 20. In example 2, we have 5 to the power of 10 to the power of 6. So when I use my law and multiply these two exponents, I have 10 times 6, which will give me 5 to the power of 60. In example 2, we now have variables, but the exponential law stays constant. So, I keep the base x, and then to get the exponent, I multiply the two original exponents to get x to the power of 21. In number 2, I can now apply two exponential laws. Firstly, I'm going to simplify inside the bracket. Inside the bracket, I'm going to use the first law because I am multiplying. That means the base will stay at 2, and to determine the exponent, I will add the two original exponents to get 2 to the power of 7. Next, I'm going to use the third law because I have one base and two exponents. So, I'm going to multiply the two exponents to get 2 to the power of 14.